Welcome back to the YOLA tutorials. Last time I showed you how to upload a signature assignment in the form of a Word document. You can use the same file tool to upload other kinds of files like MP3 audio files, PDF files, PowerPoints, and so forth. However, please note that as of this date, YOLA's file upload limit is 15 megabytes, which should be large enough to handle those kinds of files. Today I'm going to show you how to add photo galleries and videos to your ePortfolio. The first thing to note is that for photo galleries and video, you will host those files at another site like Flickr and YouTube, and then you use a widget to show them in your YOLO site. That way you're not taking up YOLA storage space with large photo or video files. Let's start with a Flickr photo gallery. You'll need to create a free account with Flickr, upload your photos there, and tag them with unique keywords for each gallery you plan to have in your ePortfolio. I've created a hidden page for uh, my fine arts coursework and linked it to the fine arts heading in the general education page. For information on how to do that, refer to tutorial number five. So let's go to my fine arts page. You'll see I've got a heading here, I've got a course name, and I've got a little bit of instructions about what the assignment is. It's not really, but I've just got some text there. And I've got some reflective writing down here about the assignment that I'm about to upload. Let's notice that on the right side of your screen, in the toolbar, there is a section for photo galleries and video. If you click on that, you uncover several options here one of which is a Flickr light box. So drag the Flickr light box onto your page where you want it. They have some dummy photos that they put in there. Then in properties, you'll want to put the search keywords that you have tagged your photos with in Flickr. And in my case, they were the word city. You can pick plain or modern. I like modern for the style. And then you have to type in your Flickr email address. Which is a Yahoo account. And pick a th image size of medium and apply. So what has happened is that the widget in here went out to Flickr and pulled in all of the photos that I had tagged with the word city because I'm creating a gallery of photos about cities around the world and these are photos that I have taken. So we can save this page and update your site. And return to editing. If we preview the page you can see that you've got a nice little gallery there of the photos that you've taken. And these could be photos uh, for a photography class, as in this example, or it could be photos of other artwork that you've done, photos of club work that you've done, uh, service learning projects, uh, group projects that you've done. Uh, use your imagination. I'm sure you could come up with other examples. Okay, so we've added a gallery to our page here. Now we'll just go ahead and add a video. If we click on the content tab here, YOLA has uh, possibilities for adding YouTube, Metacafe, and Google Video. We'll add a, add a YouTube video right here. Again, they have a placeholder video there. And if we go to properties, you can select a margin around it, you can position the video on your page and then they're looking for a URL so you can browse YouTube and go to the video that you had already uploaded there. Here's one that I have. You want to grab the URL, edit, copy. Now paste that URL right in here and hit apply. That will embed that 
video into your page. So again, if we save this page, update our site, and preview it, you'll see that that video has been embedded in your page. Welcome to U.S. National Government and Politics. So that could be a presentation that you've done for a speech class or something of that nature. Please remember to only put in your ePortfolio photos and video that you own the rights to. Either that it's a copyright free file or that you have taken the photo or video yourself. Do not violate the intellectual property rights of others.